uh, I am uh, very happy to invite you to Fanny for the Soul during the Olympics. You know, now uh, our Indian men's and women's team are fighting for the bronze medal in Tokyo tomorrow and the day after. And uh, today is the 4th of August. And uh, I have uh, got two of my hockey buddies from college right here. Sunil Shirole, our captain Hi. of the Symbiosis Institute of Business Management team that we played for in Pune. And Amin Irani was the vice captain. Hi there. Um, Sunil was the center forward. Amin was the center half. And I was, yours truly was the goalkeeper. So three of the key players in that side are right here in front of you. And let me show you a photograph of that team and I'll take this forward. Now in this photograph, friends, uh, you know, we just spoke about Amin and Sunil. So I'll just show the arrow here. This is Amin here. Um, uh, there is a, uh, one of our colleagues called Girish Deshpande right in the center, the tall guy with the tracksuit. Amin is on his, on his right and my left and Sunil is on my right here. So this is Sunil, clean shaven. This is Amin with the moustache and this is me down here with the goalkeeper's pads, you know, that in the, in the track, track that I'm wearing. Yeah. So this is our team and it was a wonderful team and uh, it comprised of... Okay, the reason we are talking about this team is this is the Symbiosis Institute of Business Management team of 1986. Uh, business graduates are not, um, you know, supposed to be playing hockey because they are supposed to be doing quantitative techniques and graphs and presentations and what have you, and, and, and to be trained as managers. But what we did is we were a very multifaceted batch and we played all sports and we took part in all cultural events. So. Uh, when I uh, went to fill up this form for the intercollegiate hockey tournament, the uh, Maharashtra Hockey Association laughed at me and said, but y'all are not undergrads and why are you playing this? Why are you entering this tournament? So that kind of, uh, you, know, uh, you know, what is it made our results stronger. Uh, we were an average team because see, uh, Amin Irani uh, has played four years for uh, Maharashtra State, you know, and Sunil has played, played, uh, three to four years for the University of Pune, besides playing uh, for Maharashtra schools. So they were our two key players, but the rest of us had played uh, uh, just about school hockey and some of us had not even played school hockey. So uh, we were an average team, but what, what we did is um, we practiced very hard. Uh, we watched motivational films. We, we worked on our positivity, positive visualization, mind control and a whole lot of uh, camaraderie and bonding and that's how we took part in this tournament where we beat the defending champions on their home ground in the very first league match we beat Nauruji Wadia Pune a very strong team 3-1 on their home ground in 1986 uh, in the winter and then uh, we went on to beat um, the armed forces medical college we beat Ferguson college we beat modern college we beat a whole lot of good hockey teams Finally, we met for, um, we met uh, Nauruji Wadia once again in the final and in a penalty shootout, uh, we lost by a goal. So well, I'm going to come down to, um, uh, you know, my friends here. And really this, uh, today's uh, YouTube video story is on um, uh, the power of the mind, the power of self-belief, the power of positivity and how uh, much of all this is being reflected in the Indian team where uh, the women's team is number uh, nine in the world, but now they are fighting for bronze and they could have even gone into the finals with some luck today. And the men's team, of course, uh, is now number three in the world and in gunning for the bronze. But some years back, the men's team was number five, number six, and the women's team finished last in the Rio Olympics. But in the last four or five years, thanks to excellent foreign coaches that we have and Hockey India's efforts, uh, and Odisha government's efforts, we have really uh, improved our hockey in the country. So I'm going to get down quickly to uh, first to Sunil and then to Amin in some uh, interesting questions. Uh, um, tell me, Sunil, as captain of that team, tell me what were the key reasons for the success, you know, uh, in your own words. So quite frankly, Rahul, when we got the team together, like you rightly said, there was Amin, there was you, there were a few, uh, three, four people who had played hockey. I remember Ajay Karkanis had played, Sham Parulikar had played. There must have been five, six people who had played hockey. But we had to get together a team. 
And when we made that resolve that we have to put a team forward, then we couldn't just put up a team and just play for the heck of it. We had to do something and win. And I think the whole uh, psyche of the team was to really go do it. And there was a lot of belief. There was a lot of, um, a lot of motivation, I would say, and a lot of um, psychology. If you remember our uh, director at that time, uh, Dr. George Judah, and he had a, a background in psychology. And he would tell us, you know, that, you know, you have to go and believe that you can do something. And we, we then, we said, yes, we are going to do this. And we put up the team and we went ahead and did it. It was quite something. Amazing, amazing. Um, you know, I'll, I'll, I'm going to come to uh, Amin. And uh, my question to Amin really is, uh, you know, uh, Amin, uh, what uh, makes underdog teams like ours, you know, succeed as fighting units? You know, what do you think? Um, because you played in the Maharashtra state team also. So how can you relate to what we did with the college team? To me, uh, after playing for Maharashtra, the very question of uh, self-belief, the desire to do something, as Sunil rightly suggested, all 11 of them may not have played high um, standard ho hockey or may not have represented Maharashtra, but each individual in that team definitely knew what hockey was all about. And that's exactly the reason when the team got together, the training that they did, Every one of them wanted to be part of the team which wanted to win. Nobody for a moment, nobody, for, and I repeat, nobody for a moment thought about the fact of losing. We were so much of camaraderie together that for the matches that you just suggested, so many matches, every match we played, we were more confident that we were going to win. So that's the main, main motto of why we were so confident about the fact of winning. And yes, of course, Hockey is a game of 11, never a game of one or two. So it's got to be the 11 together when they play together. And that's where Symbiosis got its name for the first time in the history of Symbiosis. That 11 people got together and shook up the whole of Pune, not knowing who's going to come next to us. <laughs> thank you. Thank you, Amin. Uh, Sunil, my question to you is, you know, I in, in my introduction, I mentioned the daily motivation films that we saw. And, yeah. and the bonding exercises that we did after the training, you know, in your house over Limbu Pani and sandwiches, uh, which your you know dear mother used to feed us with. And, and we did all that. And we watched that motivational film which had the Eye of the Tiger a music yeah. track. Tell yeah. me, how much do you think that film and that bonding exercise over sandwiches helped? Huge. I would say that was a huge factor. You know, they say that faith can move mountains and we had faith and you know what we lacked in uh, in our uh, practice rounds what we lacked in the fact that we were now uh, most of us were in postgraduate you know we are not active uh, sportsmen what we what we lacked in all that we made up by faith and faith was what played a huge part in what we achieved wonderful I think I mean, just to just to uh, bring a, a, a corollary, uh, I think the Indian women's team have also got a huge amount of faith in themselves, and that is what is driving them. True, true. Also, I think the men's team, you know, it applies also to the men's team, yeah. both the teams. Yeah, I think sure. true. And I and and I I would even extend it to all the athletes that uh, that are doing well, Indian athletes who are doing well in Tokyo, you know, all of them, I think uh, the uh, self-belief and faith is their central, uh, you know, key point. Yeah. Um, you know, I'm uh, going back to Amin, as you have played national hockey in India, uh, what do you think, what are the key, say, two or three factors that have transformed the Indian men's and women's team in the last five years? Is it like, you know, Graham Reed has been with the men's team for two years plus, uh, Marayan has been with the women's team for four years, which is wonderful. So uh, you, you must tell me. The basic factor, the difference which has come in, in the last few years is that India has learned the art of playing hockey by holding. When I say holding, I don't mean holding a person. I mean holding the ball. India used to be a team which used to be very good at dribbling. India used to be a team where 
people we had like Mama Shahid and Zafar Iqbal and you can name them all of them who were extremely good and at individual play. Hockey has now become a team sport. Team sport and by default when you don't have the ball in control with you, so you would buy it, you would definitely not be in a position to score a goal. It's only now that we realize the importance of holding on to the ball. It's now in the importance of being together as a team, which has caused so much of upsets where India has progressed. And moreover, the very fact of having physical fitness. The coaches are saying, laying so much of importance, especially the girls' team this side. This year, the girls' team has gone to such a level of uh, fitness that even the Australians found it difficult to hold on to them. It's something that it was never there in the previous teams. It was more of individual plays, individual brilliance. Now it's a combined effort. So that's the last three, four years, four years where the changes have come. Wow, wow, wow. Thank you, Amin. Lovely answer. Uh, Sunil, I had a question for you because of our B-School, all of us being in B-School and all that. Uh, uh, how much of mind management do you think is going into the coach's uh, recipe, you know? Both the coaches, how much of mind management do you think they're doing? Graham Reed for the men and Marine uh, for the women. Sunil. I think, I think it's playing a huge, huge factor, Rahul. You know, today, as Amin rightly pointed out, it's not about individual brilliance anymore. You know, we had, we had uh, stars who could dribble all the way from, you know, the, the center line into the D and score a goal. But uh, the game has changed. It's changed hugely from the days that we used to play it. It's now become a very different game. It's a fast game. It's a it's, it's so much more a team game than what it used to be. And I don't think one or two individuals can make, you know, the difference that they used to make. You know, I, I remember when we won, I'm telling you, Amin, Amin would have played such a big factor, you know, being the center half over there. I mean, he played such a huge uh, part in, you know, getting us into those finals. But those days are gone. I mean, today you have a rapid... Um, you know, you you have uh, uh, you know changes happening. You have different players coming in. You have um, uh, you have uh, you have um, the substitutions, the quick substitutions. You know, yeah, I didn't right. hear Sunil. But there is nothing known as center half. There is nothing known as right half. There is there is no <laughs> half. It is pure simple. You are there on the field. You are there all the way. Correct. And and they're changing their own positions. They are they are substituting substituting so rapidly. That uh, you know, it's it's not about individual brilliance anymore. So, I think as far as as far as the, the coaches are concerned, they are playing a massive part in this whole thing. And both these coaches have been brilliant. They've been absolutely brilliant in what they have achieved till uh, to bring this team to its present level. Uh, you know, they they have been strategizing beautifully, and uh, and uh, you know, rightly, it's 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 become a game where so much more mind and technique has to be used. I'll add in a two-pointer out here. Yes. Uh, I mean. For example, the coaches, I'll tell you what the difference is. Now, so much of goals are scored with drag flicking. So drag many flicks, goals. Yeah. Drag flicks is such a major important part of the hockey field now. Secondly, the other part is that majority of these coaches are international coaches. Can you imagine uh, our guys as well as our girls who are practicing or playing for India Many of them don't understand the language English. But the belief in the person who's teaching them, the fact that the person who's teaching them, he himself has been a national or an international player, gives them that authority or the feeling that he is teaching us the right thing. And that is, what, that is what makes them come together in a big way. It's a big, big, big achievement for India in both the men's as well as the women. Wonderful, wonderful. Lovely, lovely thoughts, both of you. And so one final question, one final question uh, uh, to, to both of you. And that is, where do you think the, uh, what are the prospects of both the teams, men and women? Will we both get uh, the bronze? Well, definitely. I'm rooting for both of them. <laughs> great, great. <laughs> without, without, a, without a doubt, I'm hoping, praying, and not only doing that, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to celebrate we do so. Yes, yeah. yes, we'll get both the bronzes. We were to that. So I'm go, going to go back to that uh, uh, our team photo. And, uh, you know, uh, I want to uh, quickly take down some of the names. 
you know we had uh, um, uh, yours truly that is uh, me in the goal then uh, ajay karkhanes and uh, you know sadly our late nachiket portnis lovely classmate of ours as defenders that's nachiket portnis sitting on my on my right or you know here or on my left as i speak here with, with the mustache yeah, just, yeah. Yes, mohan nakraj yeah and and they were the defenders uh, ajay karkhanes is here next to sunil shirode if you watch the arrow i'll take the arrows here and there and and we had uh, avinash bartakke here sham parulekar there then uh, where is paranspe paranspe here yeah, yeah. and then shirole himself they were the forwards then we had the two mohans that's where is this is one mohan who's in the us then we had this other mohan next to him on the extreme yeah. left and uh, and amin himself right here in the center yeah. as the halves with agnello where's agnello agnello i can't see agnello in this photograph for some reason yeah so agnello was the center half and and this was more or less the team you know you had nitin joshi here I, you know, uh, uh, quietly standing here. Nitin Joshi has been a very fine player, and 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 you know, so this is and this is uh, Pradeep Joshi. So generally, this is the team, and you know, I I I know I'm I'm sure all of them will like to see this photo. And thank you for being here, uh, you guys. And uh, uh, you know, um, uh, let's let's pray and let's celebrate in two days' time with two two more bronze medals for Indian hockey. Absolutely, Absolutely. look forward to it. Thank you, Rahul. But bye bye guys let bye. me also tell you this rahul yeah. keep doing keep doing this more often with the sportsmen <laughs> so that they feel the necessity to participate in sports thank you thank you thank you thank you my pleasure bye